Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a very simple video for anyone to master, not just because you're 40, 50, 60. It really is for all ages, but in terms of the simplicity of this makeup, it is so easy to do. We're only going to be using a handful of products, and even then you could narrow it down if you wanted to or skip some stuff. And this look will also suit most of the seasons, spring, summer, winter, fall or autumn, and it really will enhance the features beautifully. Now, in terms of this makeup look, it really is important to have a excellent priming base on. So let's get into the video. First, it's really important to make sure you have a really hydrating base on the skin. Now, if you have oily skin, this will work as well, but I found that a lot of people have been loving this primer for dry skin, combination skin, and it just works really well. You can even use it under the eyes. So this is the Rimmel Multitasker Better Than Filters Primer. And we're just going to be covering the face with a little bit of the primer here. I'm just looking down into a mirror now. You can see I have a blemish there, which is dry it up and it's about to sort of flake off any any day now i'd say i'm not going to pick it but we will definitely conceal it i'm just looking down here in my mirror i'm just going to blend that in with my fingers okay so now we're going to go in with concealer i'm not using any foundation this one here by revlon is also a really good multitasker it's the five in one concealer called the skin awaken just going to put some of that up i'm going to be concealing a little bit under the eyes oops got an eyelash there on my blemish there just on some spots which i kind of want to conceal slightly around the edges of the mouth corners of the nose and just on the bridge of the nose there like that. Now you can use a brush. I'm using a damp beauty sponge and I'm going to be blending that in, starting off with the eyes. Making sure to bring that concealer up into the inner corners of the eyes as well. And when I say inner corners of the eye, I mean the sides of the nose there. And what I've found with this concealer is it's absolutely wonderful in terms of not settling into fine lines or creases, not sitting on top of pores, not sinking right into the pores, if you know what I mean. It just conceals. It's beautiful. We're going to put a little bit of concealer on the upper eyelid because what we're going to do is we're going to put some translucent powder over the lids and that just helps to give you a nice bright, brightened effect for the eyes. Blending sides of the nose. Now what I like to do for the blemish is to put a bit more concealer on it and let it dry down so that when you go to blend it out, it's actually going to stick better. Oh, forgot to do the upper eyelid, so just going with a bit of concealer and blend that in. I'm just going to let that dry down. While we do let it dry down, I am going to go in and fill my eyebrows with this Glossier Boy Brow. Now feel free to use a pencil or whatever brow product that you choose to use for your eyebrows. Some people prefer pencils. Some people prefer pomades, but I like a, a gel brush. Okay, still keep that concealer on my blemish. I'm going to be going in with some bronzer now, and then we're going to go in with some mascara. But I'm dipping in with my Dan Beauty sponge taking a bit of cream bronzer. This one here is by e.l.f. It's the Putty Bronzer. Uh, this shade here is Honey Drip. And what we're going to be doing is bronzing up onto the upper cheekbones and into the temples there. 
for a beautiful sun-kissed effect. Put a little bit on top of the nose. It's funny, I didn't even blend out the concealer on the bridge of my nose. It kind of just disappeared in there. It's going to pick up a bit more. And don't be afraid to get a little bit more and put it closer to the apples of the cheeks as well. I'm going to blend out that concealer now on my blemish. Going in now with translucent powder. This one here is Kind and Free by Rimmel. Taking a fluffy brush and dusting the upper eyelids with that translucent powder. Going in now with mascara on the top and bottom lashes. This one here is by Sephora. It's the I Like It Care Mascara. It's my latest purchase in terms of a clean mascara. And it's not because I purchased it because it was clean, but I was curious because I was in Sephora for the grand opening and I thought packaging was cute, but I wanted to see what the brush was like and it kind of got my attention that it was going to be a really nice brush. So, so far I've been loving it. Okay, top and bottom lashes have been coated with mascara. Now I'm going in with some cream blush and this one here is Cherry Blossom by, it's the Nudies Bloom Stick. And putting some on the lips. The damp beauty sponge. enough blush <laughs> I love blush it really does help to liven up the skin and this is a great color to suit most skin tones and guys that is the end of the video really simple effective products that you can use all over the face really are going to suit most skin concerns in terms of dryness combination oily it is very beginner friendly you just have to pick the products that are going to be the most impactful. Thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. It really does mean the world to me. I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.